fine. That works works fine. I don't prefer them that way. Um, you can make it a little bit thinner, and those have a tendency to shape better, and they dissolve more uniformly, and they dry out more thoroughly. So I like those. So you want to take the Plaster of Paris mix down to a, uh, about where it's like wallpaper paste, and it doesn't have the kind of form that would stand up in a spoon or spatula, uh, excuse me, um, um, ladle. What you're looking for is a consistency of plaster of Paris that would basically be able to be poured. I make my pH pills in um, popover and muffin tins, and they don't need to be, uh, they need to be cleaned, but they don't need to be uh, oiled or anything because when the pH pills are completely dry, they shrink very slightly, less than a millimeter, but they shrink and that pulls them away from the metal in the the uh, pans, and so once they are completely dry, they, they will pop out. I've dried the pH pills in the oven, and that works okay, but honestly, there's no substitute for just time. Um, pouring them out, l letting the, uh, the tins dry, you can heat them if you want to, but just leave them sitting around for a couple of days and the pH pills will dry. When you pick them up, they feel light in your hands compared to the size they are. You'll go, wow, that's that's light. And that's when they're completely dry. They, they're kind of chalky. And um, when you put them into the tank, I prefer to put them into the filtration so that they're in the stream of water and they dissolve more reliably. If you put a pH pill or pH puck into uh, the pond, they can just get covered with algae and they can stop dissolving. In the main water flow or in the waterfall or in the filtration system, they have a tendency to dissolve in a predictable fashion. If the water is very alkaline, they're going to dissolve very slowly. If the water is acid or depleted in carbonates, they're going to dissolve a lot faster. Now, there's one important thing I want to tell you as well, that if the pH pill is not completely dried out, it's going to turn back into plaster of Paris paste. You'll see it stacking up on the bottom of the, it'll be like the pill is dissolving, but not really dissolving. It's like just turning back into the, the plaster of Paris powder on the bottom of the uh, tank or on the gravel or in the waterfall, as opposed to um, just slowly dissolving into the water. When you've done it right, the plaster of Paris liquid can be poured and forms a very nice uniform um, filling for the muffin tin. And then um, bubbles a lot when you put it into the tank and then very, very gradually dissolves and does not turn back into the powder on the bottom of the uh, system. Nice thing about Plaster of Paris pucks is that when, they're, that when they're working, you can see them. And when they have expended all their carbonates, they're gone. So if you see them laying around in the filter, then you know you're, you're protected as far as your pH. And when the pH pills have dissolved, you know it's time to add more. They're inexpensive to make. It takes a little bit of time, but you can make a whole bunch of them all at once. I make mine in muffin tins and popover tins, which I buy at Goodwill for like $3 for a dozen. And uh, other folks, uh, a good friend of mine named Tom Hatfield makes his in cat litter pans big shallow plastic cat litter pans and he'll pour about a half an inch of plaster of Paris in there. He'll let it set and cure and dry and then he twists the cat litter pan. It pops out the big plate of, of uh, plaster of Paris which he breaks into pieces that he, the size that he wants. That's also a very good way of doing it. So that's the pH pill. Um, I think that about covers it. If you have any questions or concerns, comments, uh, input, please let me know in the comments for this and or visit me at drjohnson.com or coivet.com. And uh, if you need any help, let me know. Thanks.